original. Conditioner. I have just completely finished washing my hair and I am taking my hair off with the towel. <laughs> my hair is still pretty wet. I when I do this process, I make sure my hair is wet. I'm going in with my moisturizer mist just to kind of give it just a little bit of oils. The mist has um some oils and glycerin in it and I'm just going to use this in order to give my hair a little bit of slip as well as a little bit of shine when I am blow drying my hair. That is the only product that I use um, before I put my hair to the heat. Also the oil um, is a natural hair protectant in this spray. The spray is very lightweight and it won't weigh your hair down. So that's why I use the moisturizing mist before I blow dry. So here's my blow dryer. I have an attachment that I got from Amazon. I really love it. I've never seen an attachment like this before, but it has a silicone sleeve that fits over my blow dryer. So my hair is completely detangled and I start by blow drying from the ends and work my way all the way up to the root. So this is me blow drying my hair in real time. I blow it on a medium high setting so this blow dryer has like six settings I actually found it at TJ Maxx I love it I've had a Dyson blow dryer I had that paddle brush blow dryer I've had so many blow dryers and this is my absolute favorite it never burns my hair um, I just love it so <laughs> if you guys are at TJ Maxx and you see this blow dryer be sure to pick it up because it is the bomb.com. So I've been doing the same routine throughout the summer and um, it really has helped with the health of my hair as well as with protective styling. So I'm just going in with my grow thick oil. Notice that I add the heavier products after I blow dry my hair because if I did it before it would weigh my hair down. So I'm adding the oil and it penetrates. My hair doesn't get weighed down. It's still fluffy because I didn't weigh it down before I put the blow dryer but I put the heavier products on after because I do have 4C hair. My hair does tend to get dry very fast so it is important that I use some heavier products on my hair which is why I created these products so I'm just going in with my paddle brush and I am brushing that out I'm adding a little bit more butter to the ends to protect my hair and once I am finished with each section what I do is I just go in and twist it to lock in all of that moisture while I go into the next step so I'm just adding a little bit more butter to play close attention to my ends and I want to get my ends as smooth as possible because with natural hair sometimes the ends tend not to get smooth when you blow dry them. So I'm just going showing you guys again the same routine just um, adding a smaller section within that section and as you can see I have a lot of shrinkage which is a sign that my hair is very healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and spray. <laughs> And now I'm going to go ahead and detangle. I'll leave the link to this brush that I detangle with below. Um, I've actually been looking for the Felicia Leatherwood brush. And every time I go on her site, that brush is sold out. I want it so bad. So I did have to go ahead and get this brush, which I won't say it's similar because it's definitely not similar. But it does bend similar to how hers bends. And I am going in with my blow dryer again and starting from the bottom and working my way up. And if you look at that blow dryer comb, it has like a little silver thing that kind of catches the heat to smooth out your hair, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. So I really do like this blow dryer comb. I like it most because you can move it around. Um, so... Not sure if I said this already, but I'll leave the link below um, to where I purchased the comb as well.
So as you can see, I'm just maneuvering the comb to get the best angle with the blow dryer and um, just making sure I concentrate on my roots as well because I don't want my roots to be damp. Now that my blow drying step is complete, I'm gonna follow up again and add my growth thick oil as well as my butter. I'm gonna go ahead and rub that in my hair while it's still a little bit warm for the blow dryer. And I'm gonna go ahead and twist that up. The twists don't leave any marks in my hair because I don't leave them in for very long. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you a side by side of what my hair looks like blow dried as opposed to what the natural texture of my 4C hair looks like. I did a mini chop about a year ago um, and my hair is growing back very healthy, very nicely and I'm just, I feel like this is the healthiest my hair has ever been and right now I'm really focusing on health over length. So there is my blow dried hair and on the opposite side as you can see this is all the glory of 4C hair. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys how fluffy my hair is. The products did not weigh my hair down. My hair is nice and fluffy. It has a lot of movement and it's just very full and I don't have any issues as you can see. My hair is not stiff. So the final step in my blow dryer routine is I will go back in with the blow dryer and just let those products penetrate in my hair. I just go over it a couple of times. Um, and this is just going to let the products really, because the, butters, the butter has a lot of oils that have a lot of nutrients and the oil as well, I like to go ahead and penetrate those into my hair. And now, as you can see, I'm just blowing the blow dryer around. I'm not really combing it through. That's because I'm using a cool setting to close up my cuticles and lock in all of that goodness into my hair. So this is the final result. I am ready for the next step. I think I'm going to do a flat twist out. But I usually when I do blow dry my hair, I leave my hair blow dry for two whole weeks. And I'll either, I usually only blow dry once a month or once every other month. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.